using an aggressive style, and he has really been impressive, winning the favor of the judges. And one reason you saw right there, he stalked and attacked Dubrigel, and Dubrigel had to stand there and try to jab to keep him away. He didn't. He backed straight up. So he kept going right into the plans of Forrest, and Forrest is getting a good target to go to the body here. Dervigal issued a warning for excessive holding and a low blow for Forrest. And Dervigal just trying to put the pressure on. And of all the tactics and signs the referee shows you, the one for holding is significant because it establishes oh, really what an dominating. exchange. What an exchange. Forrest and Dervigal each landing big right hands. Oh, and Forrest getting a little wild. Still bleeding from the nose, and the referee will wipe some of that blood away. How would you like to be scoring this with the amount of punches being thrown in this fight? You've got to have very busy fingers, and you really can't miss anything. Good uppercut by Dervigal. That found the mark, the headgear of Forrest. And that is one of the knocks on the system. This crowd here in Tampa trying to urge on Vernon Forrest with the chance of USA. Chopping right hand by Dervigal scored. Well, Forrest has made it a street fight, and that's one thing you can always tell on these shows we've done. When the crowd gets excited, it has not been typical amateur boxing. It's been a war inside. To the left of your screen, in, in that left-hand corner, one of the more vocal fans here this evening, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Evander Holyfield, rooting on his fellow Georgia native, Vernon Forrest. And that is the end of round number four. Candelario Dervigal gets a cool bath as he heads back to his corner. Very impressive round for both fighters as far as power punches were concerned. But it was Dervigal, the man who really had the edge in round number four. Put them together like you first did. And burn. And you get a look at the scoring and the judges' computer scoring with Forrest in front. And the third and fourth rounds were tight rounds. Forrest got them both. one, Vernon. You got to do it, my man. This is the round right here. You understand? And he's tired, bro. Take a look at some of the action. You see that right hand scoring by Dervigal on the right to the body as well, but the left and the right back by Forrest. And that was the key, David. And they look good. But remember, they count the same. We begin this fifth and final round in our first bout of the evening. 139 pounds. Vernon Forrest of the United States in the blue. Candelario Dervigal of Cuba wearing the red. Dervigal, 29 years of age. A wealth of international competition under his belt. Forrest, just 21 hoping to make the Olympic team for this summer's Olympic Games in Barcelona. Duvergel has the reach advantage. Since the first round, he has not been able to utilize it. Forrest took it away by crowding him on the inside. little fatigue setting in here now. Duvergel was unable to get his jab up in time and he ended up backing up again. Forrest has made him pay for his mistakes. And one thing Forrest has not done in this bout that he might try to learn from, he's not really cut off the ring. He's gotten close at times, but he has not been able to move to the right and make Duvergel shift his weight back. And Forrest is trying to unload with some big right hands. another right hand that scored glancing but the white portion of that glove did find the headgear it seems that Forrest has been more accurate on the short inside punching Duvergel more of a sharp shooter from the outside 
Closing seconds of this fifth and final round. Forrest hits the deck. He tripped over Dervigal's foot as he threw a lunging punch. You see the fatigue on Dervigal, his mouth open, and that is it. The fight is over, and when we come back after this timeout, we'll find out who won between Vernon Forrest and Candelario Dervigal on Sports Channel America. Dervigal wait in the center of the ring to find out who is the winner of their bout in the 139-pound weight class. There you get a look at Ladies Forrest and, and Dervigal. It was a close one, David. They were well matched. A 14-17 decision for the blue corner, Vernon Forrest. So Vernon Forrest of the United States with, I would say, a mild upset, a winner 17-14 over Candelario Dervigal, the seasoned veteran from Cuba. And if they took turns fighting each other, I think they would take turns beating each other because on this occasion, Forrest was able to impose his style on Duvergel. Duvergel really didn't utilize his reach edge and got into Forrest kind of a fight. He did better inside than he might have been given credit for, but it was still Forrest's fight. And there are the punches landed statistics. And you take a look at how the different judges saw the fight and uh, some of them had it pretty close. And even eight to ten punches over the course of five rounds is not a lot. Red corner, 